this is Hawkeye and I am getting ready to head off to St. Croix Lake with Delacaba. Alright, well I'm at St. Croix Lake and uh, I am at that bay. Alright, which it's bay? The top, it's the top right most location on the map. King, King of the Green Bay, gotcha. King of the Green Bay, yep. I am on my way. Uh, yep, yep, I see you. But with there he is, 5 a.m. And we are in the peak, so. Yep. And if we head around to the other side, I've always had the best luck musky fishing from the other side. Okay. Yeah, I think I remember uh, fishing that spot that you showed me. I was catching yep. them too. Occasionally got a unique, if I remember right. Yeah, this spot right over here. There's a lot of good musky and pike fishing right out there. All right. You see what rod I've got here. I think I'm going to go with my Farcaster. Well, I'm going to use this bullfrog popper and see if that thing gets their attention. Well, I'm going to start out fairly traditional for me I'm gonna be using a spinner okay the, I think I'm gonna go with a half ounce rainbow there we go Towards that corner there. Version valid. And I think my first cast, I'm going to just twitch it in. Okay. Yeah, I'm just a popping. <laughs> As foggy as it is, I don't know how good, how much good that popper is going to do you until the fog burns off. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that myself. A, but I mean, given given that it's a popper, you know, it should be a pretty noisy bait. And that, I think it's when you get in near the uh, lily pads that you're probably going to have the best luck with that popper. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. If it doesn't do much, I'll go off to something different and see if. Then as it gets sunny, I, it might do better in the evening, so. Yeah, just going to check the shoreline here. I'm sure there have been some changes since the last time I was here. Let me just see what we got. Some now you pretty much can't get to the shore. There we go. Got one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to see if they'd opened up any more spots along the shoreline going down. There you go, Northern Pike. Nice, nice. 6.46 pounds, huh? Mm-hmm. Not too shabby. Right over there by those lilies. I think I'll bring up my real speed. Cast into that far corner. Try some lift and drop. Yeah, it to, took me a while to figure out the way lift and drop is to be done now. It's tricky. Daggone it. He, missed, he went after it, but he didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. Get that a lot. Well, I'm musky hunting. There's actually some new musky species in the lake here. I was looking at the uh, fish list. Tiger and musky. There are, there, well, there's two new musky species. There's a tiger musky and one other. Really? I haven't seen that. Let me so there are out. now three musky species here. Okay. Well, of course, the blue cat. Were the brown bullheads been here before, too? I don't recall there being brown bullheads here, but... You know me, I don't really fish cats unless I'm on the river. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, they're here now. There he is. Who are you? <laughs> Musky, Northern Pike. There we go, seven pound northern. <laughs> nice. Tiger Musky. Northern Pike. Now, walleyes come unique here. The tiger trout are here too. Yeah. Learned. Clear musky, that's the new one. Yeah. I have not caught that yet. That's a new one for me. Been a long time since I've been here. I've been contemplating doing a video on this one, but just hadn't gotten around to it. When I got level 42, I wanted to check Germany out, you know? Yeah. Germany's mostly various different types of carp, so. Yeah, well, they've changed this year. They've removed a whole bunch of the lily pads that used to be right out front here. There was a line of lily pads right out front in kind of a trench along the shoreline. And I used oh, yeah. to fish that, that trench. I remember Unless that. I'm getting mixed up and the spot's actually farther down but I just went along the shoreline quite a ways and I'm pretty sure this is a spot no I think it is further down Dilla. yeah let's see let me check here because I remember the spot too but I remember walking a lot longer yeah yeah I might have to get another yeah actually out. actually you're right we weren't we weren't to the good spot yet this is a spot you gotta be Got to be running that popper. Oh yeah, definitely. With all, all of this here. Are you streaming yeah. live or are you recording? recording? He's recording. Okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, I remember. You know, I remembered. You really have to walk away. So. Well, I haven't Damn, been here in a hundred years. Instant. Yeah, well, that's why I'm saying this is this is the hot spot. That has not changed, and with all these lily pads along here, all that structure, that popper should be a real killer over here. Oh yeah, looks like you got a good one there. Let's see, what we got here, musky. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, see, musky fishing. This is the area over here. <laughs> And the fishing is just going to get better and better and better for about the next two and a half in-game hours. So you could really massacre them over here. That's the plan. I figured I'd fish them for a while with my classic setups and then try to pop her. You always did well with the spinners, too. This fellow's got a little fight to him. I don't remember if there's a specific location there. I got something. Ooh, damn. If there was a it specific is. location for the uniques or not, but I don't remember. Northern Pike. Yeah. I think I got a good muskie here. Either that or I got a darn good pike. He's giving me a real fight. Good. Maybe you got a trophy there. I brought my uh, drag up thinking my drag was sitting too low. <laughs> and he is, he is fighting me hard. This is what I was hoping for. Awesome. Boy. Yeah, he's taking line. Yeah, he's got to be at least a trophy. Well, I'm running, I believe, a 15 pound drag here, so if he's managing to take a little line, he's got to be at least 10. I've got my drag up all, almost all the way. There you go. 
and he's giving me a good fight. And that's why I like to fish this. Yeah, I don't know how you found this spot, but you really found the, the spot, I tell you. Oh. Just kept checking. When I things. came up here, I walked the shoreline until I found what I'd fish in real life for muskie. And yeah, he's fighting me hard. Here you. <laughs> Damn. There we go. What do we got here? Northern Park, 8.9 pounds. I'm amazed he fought that hard at 8.9. That's still a pretty good size for the common size. I mean, you know. Yeah. Well, biggest pike of the day so far. Yeah. Which beats me. No muscalunge. <clears throat> Thought I had one here for a minute, but he just splashed in right behind it and. There we go. We got one this time. All right. What we got here? Oh, uh, there you go. Trophy Northern Pike. There you go. Uh, yep, eleven point nine five. Very nice. I can see how this is gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a a friendly competition, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> He's fun. No, I'm yeah. running that half ounce rainbow spinner with a lift and drop. Bring her in right through the lilies. And uh, it won't, won't be till a little bit later in the morning that the really good muskies start to show themselves. Yeah, I just got the one muskie. I've, everything else has been northern pike, so. I'm all snagged up there we go. Now let's see here. I think I got some new goodies in the box. Let's see what I got in here. Been a while. The frogs are good too. Yeah. You're determined to get that unique muskie, aren't you? Either that or I'll run a uh, blue and silver crankbait. You like that fella too? Well, like I said, uh, usually it's around 7 a.m. in the morning like this that I seem to do best for the, the big muskies. <laughs> yeah. Here we got somebody with some moxie to him. All right. I think the way he's working this, I may have a muskie here. have the reel on this rod that I thought I did. I think I may actually be running a, a 10 pound reel here, not a 15 pound reel. That's one I got thing a nice I really, jump out of him. One thing I really wish you could do is share stuff because I would more be more than happy to lend you a reel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's giving me a good fight. Either another eight or eight pound plus northern, or I've got myself a nice little muskie here. He's working it. Whoa. Oh, shit. Yeah, Damn. I don't know what he was, but. Damn. He was definitely bigger than I thought. Because he just made up his mind he was done playing and. He just swam away, snapped the line. Wow. Oh, I don't have any of my crankbaits with me, do I? Nope, I don't. Well, guess I'll throw that, that frog on there and see what it do. It's been good so far. I'm just trying out a medium spoon right now just to see. Yeah, here a medium spoon is gonna gonna get you uh, four or five pound northerns. You'll very seldom pick up a musky on a medium spoon, and you'll mm -hmm. very seldom pick up a northern over four and a half on a medium spoon. Even a two ounce. 
Oh, a two ounce? Yeah. Uh, Maybe. Might, might do the job. I'm getting two on the lift and drop. Three occasionally. <laughs> yeah, which which spoon are you using? Uh, the yellow tiger spoon. Yeah, that that kind of lemon yellow. Yeah. Yeah, that that might that might get your attention on a foggy morning like this. Yeah, I figure it's worth a try. I like to mix things but up. Usually, we're fishing, you know, a half ounce medium spoon because, you know, we're fishing trout or whatever. So my brain just automatically thinks of a half ounce. Yeah. Oh, I did get something. There we go. What do I got here? Northern Pike, seven pounder. Not bad. Yeah, this is, I think, what I caught. Um, the unique uh, Northern Pike off of some time ago was the uh, two ounce. But I had to do and lift and drop. I didn't do it with anything else. Which crankbait works best for this area? Do you remember? Blue and silver was what was working good. Okay. I think I might have one. We've, we've gotten a lot of new patterns since then, but uh, yeah. the blue and silver and uh, running fa the one that runs fairly shallow. I've got my... Jigs and jig heads, and nothing that qualifies as a crank except for this popper. Huh. Oh, well, sure. Hmm. Let's see. Do I have anything? Let's just see. Better bait that I've well, I got a four inch shad with me. I sure do. Four inch shad, three out to six out hook, huh? Let's see what crankbaits I do have. I don't know if I have a three foot one. No. I have one that looks like the um, crayfish, but. I, I think know. I'm going to use a two ounce six odd hook. I might try this one just for a little bit. Actually, that'll be a little bit too heavy for this rig. What, you know, one and a half ounce, huh? Okay. Being is, I don't think that Chad can handle the eight dot. Oh, there we go. I got to bite off that uh, blue striped one. Well, the uh, grass green Chad is a uh, is a winner. Ah, it's a walleye. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Foggy conditions like this, you betcha. I was expect it. Di it didn't look like it was as heavy. I knew it wasn't as heavy. I was like, "What the hell did I get here?" <laughs> yeah, I think I'll try my four-inch grass green shad just just for the giggles. I haven't had that out there in a while, and. It can be pretty productive. Oh, it's a nice walleye. 3.98 pounds. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Bit of a surprise, but... <laughs> I don't think I've got a walleye over here before. I've got plenty of musky, and there's something. Okay. Ooh, and he's got some oomph to him, too. What we got here? 
9.15 pound northern pike. Very nice. Yeah. Well, we've certainly been picking up some nice northerns, but That's only it. one musky to see so far, huh? That's it. But it's not that 8 .8 seven yet. picked up. Yep. So it may change. I'm going to go back to the popper probably by that time. Oh, got a shell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get a lot of that crap. It, it was worth a gold coin. Yeah, I know. Every time you get one, <laughs> if you get a certain amount of them, every time you, you'll get a gold coin. So it's not entirely a waste of time. Mr. Bubba's at the doorway trying to tell me something, but I don't know what the heck he wants. Everything. <laughs> yeah, you're fishing over that good musky spot over there. I've, I remember you used to go in front of those bushes, cast over them. trouble is you know you risk a snag but sometimes it's worth this the risk yeah well if you recall I'd use that uh, blue and silver crankbait standing down where you are and I'd cast it right along the shoreline right in front of them reeds and run it right next to the shore right along the drop-off yeah you can catch the heck out of the northerns right there Yeah, they don't seem at all interested in the shed. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. So I know when to get the message. It's time. Oh, shoot. Now I got a snag. And another snag. It just went from snag to snag. Yep. <laughs> and I got me a water lily fish. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. The fog is finally starting to burn off a little bit. We can actually see the far corner, and it's in casting into that far corner and working it in that I've had the best luck with the muskies, either that or casting towards the tree that's di directly across from me and slightly left. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try over here because I, I can't get the thing to come out here anymore. Used to be able to. What's that? Used to be able to get your rod to come out right here and cast over these weeds, but you can't do it anymore. Yep. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, they've changed a few things. Yeah, well, shoot. To make do, I guess. I'm going to try this lure for a second, and then I'm going to go back to my popper. But yeah, we're getting a lot more visibility now, you're right. And now would be a good time to run that popper, or a good time to run that blue and silver crankbait. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of to be expected in some situations. Yeah. Let's see. We're going to bring that back out again. Well. Oh, you disappeared. Oh, there you are. I just see your name. <laughs> yeah, the way the way they've got it now, if you get too close to a person, they actually disappear so that people can't step in front of you and block your view anymore. I see. Now that the lake conditions are coming up, I move back to my half ounce spinner. See if I can pick me up a muskie. There we go. Got one. What do we got here? What? This hmm? trophy smallmouth bass. <laughs> I'll take him. That 
is another surprise. Oh, that that frog popper is good for all kinds of things. Love this frog popper. Bullfrog popper, actually. There we go. Uh, that's a little unusual. What is this? What the hell is this? <laughs> got something jumping good there. Yeah, no, he's he's got some oomph to him. I don't. Know. First, he barely. First, I barely. There got you off. go. Trophy Northern Pike. Yeah, oh, I can tell just by looking at him. He was a good one. Yeah, Sixteen point zero seven pounds. Holy key wrap. Yeah, twelve thirty nine cash just for him. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, wow. I don't have my ounce and a half spinner. Damn it. Shoot. That's Sorry. what I usually massacre the muskies with, is my largest size rainbow spinner. Mm. But the biggest one I've got is a half ounce. That's can not going to do it. Can you go to the shop, maybe? Do you think they might have them there? I would look. Yeah, they got the three-quarter ounce. Mm. Of course, I probably don't have room for it in my tackle box. Yeah, see, mine is, mine is at home. Check my inventory here. Yeah, I do not have a slot open. I should have a slot. Uh, no, I guess not. I going to say I lost that that spoon, but actually I've still got other spoons. So, yeah, I would literally have to throw away one of my pieces of tackle. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing. It's so easy to... F you get too loaded up. That, that's one of the problems yeah. I run into this. They kind of want you to buy <laughs> more storage, you know? Yeah. Yeah, all my really big spoons and everything are all sitting at home because I was rigged for fishing other locations. Yeah. Sorry about that. Hmm. Willing to wait. <laughs> ah, well, the problem is, of course, you can, if you could just chuck out one lure, I'd heck, I'd chuck out one lure. You know, just just to be able to make it happen. But of course, you got to chuck out five lures or ten lures or whatever because they stack. Yeah. Hmm. This is what the hell is this? The ah. Trophy yellow perch. God, they're so aggressive. <laughs> mm. I'm going to try casting up by that tree. I've gotten a lot of big okay. things. I'll just get there. sneaky, that's all. Well, you got something there. Didn't you? Nope. Oh, I thought I saw something splash. Yeah, that was my float hitting the water. Oh. <laughs> I just switched to a shiner on my Brutus. Ah, there you go. Cause I don't think I have any fat heads. Any of the other big minnows currently with me. There's a couple spots float fishing that can be really good. Yeah, I have... Uh, let me see if I remember one. Uh, where's my Brutus rod here? What have I got on here? Well, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> 
not gonna work. Red worms. <laughs> Let's see. Let's put a bigger hook on there. What have I got bait wise? Ah, I do have large minnows. Yeah. Well, if you cast towards that right hand corner, running uh, uh, blue and silver three foot crank, you got a really good chance of picking up a unique northern right now. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, I might give it a try here. If I had my real big spinner, and that's where I'd be casting his back into that corner, trying to trying to pick up a real good mu musky or maybe a unique northern. Yeah. Have you tried any of the jerk baits yet? Because I haven't. It's fairly nope. new. Fairly new, and I don't. can't remember what they're good for primarily <coughs> yeah I might try which corner was it you say uh, that right hand corner basically where the bare shoreline is oh, I see. that we originally came in yeah cast a little bit to the right of that right by the tree hang on one second here let me bring this in and I'll switch rods and cast to the spots you can see okay well i'm gonna try out that way anyway just to see all right yeah yeah the tree that's to the right of the open patch is a, a good marker okay i thought i remembered you talked so do it in one of your videos from way back. Yeah. Most of the stuff that we did still works. Oh, yeah. There's been, you know, some of the cover things have changed. But the techniques and everything haven't changed much. Snoopy and Roscoe have decided that acting like a couple of morons is appropriate for this time of night. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with that dog? He's laying on his back with his feet up in the air. What do you got? He's got his toy between his paws. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got some here. Let's see. What do we got here? Northern Pike. Okay. Yeah, we need to get us a good, unique muskie here. That's what we need to get. I'm just afraid that neither one of us really had the appropriate gear. We just kind of jumped in here, you know? Yep. Get ourselves prepared and come in here with full arsenal. <laughs> yeah, well, I forgot I had taken all my crankbaits out to fit other things. Yeah. Yeah, it used to be you could put as much shit in there as you wanted. Mm hmm. Not anymore. <laughs> there we go. What do you got here? Another northern pike. Getting a lot of northern pike here. 
Yeah, the musky chest aren't turned on today. I don't know what it is. Sunny weather usually not good or something? Or? Well, uh, where we are, the conditions we're in, there's no reason why we shouldn't be getting hits by musky. Unless they've changed their lure preferences, you know, since we've had so many new lures added in since we used to fish this. True. <coughs> I've got that one called uh, Runner's Deep Lure. That, that one goes real deep, kind of like a crankbait does. I don't know if that's something they go for. And like I said, I don't know what goes for these jerk baits. shoreline here see what we see should I take a look at the muskies here let's see crankbait spinners they say they go for bullet spinners I might try one just to see and they go for jerk baits of course poppers we know already established that Try a bullet spinner. So I've got a few of them here. This one looks like it grabbed their attention. It's worth giving it a try. <laughs> <laughs> 